back. If you're new to the channel, welcome, where we are renovating a 1970s uh, single wide mobile home in the woods. Uh, this week I'll be working on this floating shelf and this faux brick wall. Uh, I was able to do all this, kind of create this look for about a hundred bucks. If that's something you're interested in, follow along and uh, let's get to it. So I was uh, contemplating using just uh, pine boards because I initially wanted to go 10 feet, but a uh, 10 foot pine board is pretty pricey just to do one shelf. So uh, I'm going to keep it at eight feet and then I'll have some leftover for another project on the plywood. But yeah. So this is, uh, I guess it's called radiata pine. It's uh, the cheapest stuff Home Depot carries. I've used it in other projects for this um, for this beam in our house, and I also used it in my son's room with kind of a brownish gray stain. <laughs> figure out how deep I want to go on these. Um, old lady wants to be able to fit a uh, plate on there. So this plate's almost 11 inches. I'm thinking I might have to go 12, That's which is pretty deep. I don't know if I want to go that deep, but maybe I just go 11. I think 11 will work. I just, I need to be able to support the shelf. All I'm going to be supporting it with is a two by material. So I need it to uh, be able to brace that. And then the shelf itself is only going to be as thick as a uh, as two by four. So it'll be inch and a half plus three quarters of an inch. So it's going to be about three inches, three inches thick. And then I'm thinking 11 inches deep. All right, let's get it. And I'm using my Craig uh, AccuCheck track saw. And I'll be cutting my miters at 46 to get them extra tight. And then here I'm just mitering the ends first. So I'll have to go back and do each one afterwards. This is my finished face piece. It's going to be three inches thick. So I have all my miters done on my main shelf. Now I just have to cut the little side pieces that are going to fit on each side. I try to match up the uh, grain as much as possible so it seems like it's one cohesive uh, piece of wood. This was my uh, first screw up of the day. The tape I used wasn't, wasn't sticky enough and it didn't hold the wood together. 
and also the way I tried to um, pick it up and flip it over just wasn't the correct, I guess, technique. But you'll see the way I do it here is not not how you want to do this. And then so so here I'm using a stronger packing tape that had uh, I guess a stronger adhesive and held a little bit better. Definitely a uh, struggle here. So this is actually the correct way you want to try and flip these. Grab both of the main boards and flip the whole thing over. And then my second screw up was I used a little too much glue and it kind of bled through to the other side. I got to break in my new pin nailer. And then I uh, burnished the miters with a screwdriver just to take the um, the corner down and make the make it seem like it's a tighter fit. Clean the glue off and then light sand. These are the end pieces. I ran out of wood filler, so I'm just using some, some spackle that I had. I just got some white paint. I put uh, two spoonfuls in a cup of water. Mix it up real good. And uh, see how it turns out. It's the first time I ever tried this, so. All right, so I marked my studs, and then I'm gonna put bracing in between each stud all the way down. Let's see if we can get this thing mounted. Use some wood glue. I was gonna do pocket holes, but I forgot to buy um, actual screws, so I'm just having to do it this way. Thank you. 
this is what the finished what the finished bracket looks like. Not on set, but hopefully it hopefully it's strong enough to hold this thing out. We'll see. I'm going into one, two, three, four, five, six studs. So hoping that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna center it with the lights. Alright, so I think I'm gonna try and use these guys. They might be too long. So I mounted the shelf and I drew a line where the shelf's gonna be going. Because I'm gonna remove that section of the brick so that the shelf the shelf will sit inside the brick. Give it more of like a look where the shelf is like the wood is coming out of the wall kind of the look. Mm -hmm. little piece of brick. So I guess from what I've watched, the worse you do it, the better it looks, apparently. Find out. This first coat is just primer.
So this is what we got. <laughs> I gotta change the bulbs. These bulbs are too bright, but. It'll be nice when we're working, cooking and stuff to have all this light. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these fixtures, they're really big. But, uh, I had them from another project and uh, just trying to reuse them, but I think we might have to go with something a little smaller. We'll see, Let's see what the wifey says. Moving on to the floors here. And here I'm on to my second coat of mud, sanding my first coat and then applying my second coat. More ended up on the floor than on the wall. It's gonna be so nice to actually get some real floors and not plywood. So I decided I'm gonna um, shift these cabinets back so I don't have to rip a piece here and then I'll have to rip a piece there. If I just shift them back a couple inches, I won't have to do anything, it'll, it'll be a perfect fit, so.
last piece of the day. Let's go. Man, that was a lot of work. All right. So that's gonna do it for this week. Main flooring done in the main living area. Really got half the house done at this point. So we got it's like walking into a time machine when you cross the line into the other side of the house, like walking into 1970 something, but at least we have a living space now. So, but uh, next week I'm gonna start priming Finish, finish the mudding and start priming these walls. But anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, let's go. Right here for a second. Oop. Hey, welcome to the channel. Nope, start again. God, I hate this.